Hello, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. In today's video, we will be reviewing for the 2022 Texas Star Math Test for third graders. Our concept is multiplying and dividing word problems. This is part six. Remember third graders, if you're always trying to be normal, you will never know how amazing you can be. We have our third grade math and reading review workbooks available for purchase in our store. The links are in the description box so that you can grab yours today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, and press the like button so that you will be alerted to new videos we upload and also spread the word about Hype Math. We greatly appreciate your support. Now let's look at some words that may alert us when we, when we are reading a word problem that we may need to multiply or divide. Let's start with multiplication. They are times, each, in all, twice, per, area, factor, multiple, multiplied by, and equal groups. For division, we have half, same, split, quotient, divisor, equal group, separate, distribute, divided by, cut up, and shared equally. Now, this isn't all of the words that we would see, but they're the most common ones in word problems. So let's look at question number 41. Miss LaSoya has 72 index cards. She will arrange the cards in six equal stacks. How many index cards will be in each stack? Is it A, 12, B, 9, C, 78, or D, 66? In order to solve this problem, the first thing we're going to do is ask ourselves, what are we looking for? We are looking for how many index cards are in each stack. Now that we know what we're looking for, our next question is, well, what information can help find the answer? And the information that can help find the answer is, one, Miss LaSoya has 72 index cards. And number two, she will arrange the cards in six equal stacks. Now that we have the information that will help us find the answer, our next question is, how to solve the problem? In order for us to solve this problem, because we're trying to find out how many cards are in each stack, we need to divide 72 index cards by six equal stacks. Again, we need to divide 72 index cards by six equal stacks. And when we divide 72 by six, our answer is 12 index cards in each stack. So what is our correct answer? What we need to do is look at all of our answer choices to see which one has 12 as the answer. And yes, you're correct. A is the correct answer. Great job, third graders. Let's move to question number 42. Scott has 28 toy cars to put on four shelves. He wants to put the same number of cars on each shelf. How many toy cars should Scott put on each shelf? Is it F, 32, because four plus 28 is equal to 32? Is it G, 112, because 28 times four is equal to 112? Is it H, seven, because four times seven is equal to 28? Or is it J? 24 because 28 minus 24 is equal to 4. In order for us to solve this problem, our first question needs to be, yes, what are we looking for? We are looking for how many toy cars Scott will put on each shelf. Now that we know what we're looking for, our next question is, what information can help find the answer? And the information that can help find the answer is, one, Scott has 28 toy cars that he's going to put on four shelves. And also, he wants to put the same number of cars on each shelf. So, 
How do we solve this problem? In order for us to solve this problem, we need to divide 28 toy cars by four shelves. Okay, we need to divide 28 toy cars by four shelves. 28 divided by four is equal to seven. So there will be seven cars on each shelf. So what is our correct answer? We need to look at our answer choices that shows either 28 divided by four, which is equal to seven, or another way we can express this, which is four times seven is equal to 28. And do you see the correct answer? You're right again. Do y'all see Miss Jackson messed up? Do not look at that F, y'all. Yes, H is the correct answer because four times seven is equal to 28. And that is it, third graders, for our review of multiplication and division word problems part six. Remember, we have our third grade math and reading review workbooks available for purchase in our store. This is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. I will talk to you later.